Hello children, welcome to EVS class. In today's EVS class, we will continue with the chapter Air and Water. In today's topic, we will learn about water, sources of water and its uses. Children, before I begin, can you tell me on which planet do we live? Yes, we live on Earth. This is our Earth. Can you see this blue portion? This blue portion indicates the water. So children, the major part of our Earth is covered by water. And because of this, our Earth is also called as blue planet. Alright? Now water is a precious natural resource. All living things such as plants, animals and human beings need water to live. Now children, let's learn some interesting facts about water. Water has no color, taste, smell or shape. Can you see these containers? It takes the shape of any container. Water boils when we keep it on fire. It changes into steam or water vapor on boiling. Dear children, have you ever thought where does the water come from? Let's find out where does it come from. Now we will learn about sources of water. There are mainly three sources of water. What are they? They are rain water, surface water and ground water. Rain water. Rain is the main source of water. It means we get most of the water from rain. Rain deposits most of the fresh water on the earth. Surface water. It is the water that we see above the ground, such as rivers, lakes, ponds, streams, seas and oceans. Children, surface water should be consumed only or after it has been properly filtered or disinfected. Ground water. During the rain, some water seeps into the ground which is called underground water. Ground water is the water present beneath the earth's surface. Ground water can be consumed using wells, tube wells and hand pumps. Water from all the sources reach our house through taps. Tap water can be cleaned by boiling and filtering. Children, we should always drink boiled or filtered water. And drinking water should be stored in clean and closed container. Drinking dirty water can cause many diseases. Alright, so we should only drink filtered and boiling water. Now let's learn uses of water. Water is useful to us in many ways such as for drinking, cooking, bathing, cleaning, washing our clothes, brushing our teeth, and gardening. Water is also used for agricultural and industrial purpose as well. Children, like us, animals also need water to live, bath, and drink. Likewise, even the plants need water to grow and prepare their own food. So children, that's the end of our explanation. From this chapter, Air and Water, we have learned that the most essential need for all living things to live are air and water. We should not pollute them, but we should always try to keep them clean and fresh for all living things on earth. Things to Remember Plants and animals need water to live. Water is used in cooking, batting, drinking, etc. Water is useful in many ways. Children, in the previous class we have done exercise A and B. Today we will continue with the other exercise questions. Now let's start with exercise C. Fill in the blanks. Number 1. We breathe in dash. We breathe in what? We breathe in air. Number 2. 
We keep water in a freezer to make it into dash. To make it into ice. Number three, humans also need dash to drink. Humans also need water to drink. Number four, ocean water is very dash. Ocean water is very salty. Number five, fish dash in air which is present in water. Fish breathe in air which is present in water. Let's proceed to exercise D. Answer the following. Question 1. Write two uses of air. Answer. The two uses of air are Number 1. Air helps to fly a kite. Number 2. Air helps to fly an aeroplane. Let's repeat. The two uses of air are Air helps to fly a kite. Air helps to fly an aeroplane. Children, besides these two uses, you can write any two uses. Alright? Question 2. Write three properties of air. Answer. The three properties of air are Number 1. Air fills space. Number two, air has weight. Number three, air is needed for burning. Let's repeat. The three properties of air are air fills space. Number two, air has weight. Number three, air is needed for burning. Next, let's proceed to exercise E H O T S. Children, I will just give you explanation of these two questions for understanding purpose. No need to write it down in your notebook, alright? So the question 1 says, how can you prove that an empty box also has air in it? Children, we will prove it by using an empty glass bottle instead of a box, okay? Now let's start. If we take an empty glass bottle and hold it upside down with its open mouth, we will find that water does not enter into the glass bottle. Why? Because the bottle is filled with air. You know children, the air present in this empty bottle prevents the water from entering it. So from this activity, we can prove that an empty glass bottle has air in it. But children, if we bend the bottle a little in the water, we will find that the air present inside the bottle goes out in the form of air bubbles. As the air escapes from the bottle, water starts entering inside the glass bottle. Therefore, from this activity, it is clear that the glass bottle which was empty is actually filled with air even though it's not visible to us. Children, you can also try and do this activity at home. Alright? Now, next question. Question 2. Why is an air pump needed in an aquarium? Children, an air pump is needed in an aquarium to filter the water and provide extra oxygen. Alright children, like I said, no need to write down the HOTS questions in your notebook. But as your assignment, you can try to do the first activity at home. Alright, that's the end of our chapter, Air and Water. Thank you and have a nice day.